Okay, so hello guys. Uh, so I'm just going to give you a, a, a short introduction to what you're supposed to do because some of you asked and of course if you need a day more, a little more time to work on the assignment, it's okay with me. But anyway, you start off with opening the file called Udarbeide there. And then we wait until it's open. And the fields that I marked, uh, you of course don't have to uh, account for. So one, one you need to focus on, and then, then you need to read the accompanying material, explain which factors have had an impact on student A's financial development. What I'm looking at there is the uh, articles that we have um, uh, attached in the handout folder. These needs to be read, read, and then you need to uh, need to find the answers in these articles. The next one assess how the development in index features affected the profit margin ratio and the asset turnover ratio from the 2018 to 18. Uh, the actual uh, financial ratios we haven't talked about in class yet, uh, but what you can do is you can focus on the index features. The index features, if you open the Udarbeidet A. Then you have the index features here, and you see index. It's uh, the first year is year two thousand and sixteen, and then it goes to two thousand and eighteen. And if you see the development, you have to compare the revenue to the other cost, cost of material, and then revenue to other external cost, etc., and compare it all the way through. Then, if you are interested, and it would be interesting to see. How uh, the profit margin ratio, which we also in Danish call Oslostrand, which is one of the next things we're going to talk about in class, and the asset turnover ratio. But these things, if you don't feel comfortable talking about it, just leave it. But you should be able to focus on these and these. Very good. Okay. So the next one, assess with growth strategy, answer growth matrix, discuss whether it's advantage for students to continually reduce the climate and environmental impacts of its activities. That's a distressing question. Discuss competitive strategy for students A's. That we talked about Porter's generic strategy, which we also talked about in class. Use that. Apply that to the company. Apply to is it cost leadership? It is something else. Remember to argue why you believe it's one of the other. Assess the value chain and argue when the value chain to true A is creates value for a, for its customers. Value chain, a primary, secondary activities argue where they create value for their customers, then good luck with it. I hope this made sense.